myself Tamil Maravan I am going to explain about reflector cross site scripting imagine browsing your favorite website only to discover that a simple click on a seamlessly harmless link could compromise your personal information or even grant a hacker control over your account this scenario isn't just a possibility it's a potential consequence of threat lurking within a web application reflector cross site scripting and reflector cross site scripting is one of the most reported vulnerability in web application uh, reflector cross site scripting is also known as a non persistent xss or type 1 xss is a web application vulnerability that allows an attacker to inject malicious code into a web page through a user supplied input this malicious code is then reflected back to the browser and executed within the context of trusted websites allowing the attacker to steal information or perform actions on behalf of the victim as shown in the figure the attacker creates grabs a url with malicious code and sends the uh, link to the victim and the victim is tricked into opening that link and requesting the malicious url from the website and the website included that malicious code in the response to the victim and then the uh, victim's browser intercepts the malicious code in the server's response as a part of legitimate web page and executes that code and the <clears throat> and the user sensitive information is sent to the attacker server or attacker controlled server right. how reflected xss differs from stored and dom xss dom based xss in reflected xss in reflected xss attack the malicious script is embedded in a link or input field sent to the server and then immediately reflected back to the victim in a server's response this attack is typically a one time event relying on the victim clicking on spe specially crafted link or submitting a form within the injected script once executed the, the script can steal cookies session tokens or other sensitive information from the victim's browser in, sto in a stored xss attack the malicious script is stored on the server often in a database or in the application data data store when a user access a page that displays the stored data the string gets executed in the every user's browser who views that particular page this type of attack can have more widespread impact as it affects multiple users and in dom based xss occurs when the client script modifies the dom or document object model in a insecure way leading to execution of malicious script unlike reflector or stored xss the payload is not sent to the server rather it's processed by client side script and executes in the victim's browser based on how the dom is manipulated uh, uh, in simple words stored xss where the payload is stored on the server server in reflector xss the payload is a part of a request and the reflected back in dom based xss where the payload affects the dom document object model common vulnerable points for reflected accesses url parameter parameter passed through the url especially in get request as susceptible uh, as in the in the picture where the product id has uh, the value of test it it if that test value is reflected back in the response it could be an uh, ex, it could be an it could be vulnerable to uh, reflect across a scripting and another uh, vulnerable point is uh, form input fields any input field on a web page that accepts user generated content such as search bars comment sections or contact forms context forms uh, can be vulnerable if the application does not properly sanitize or validate the input it can reflect malicious scripts back to the user users and the other common vulnerable point is http headers sometimes certain headers like ref uh, referrer header might be used by application and displayed on the page if this header are not sanitized properly they can be ma uh, manipulated to execute uh, scripts and there are some other vulnerable points which, uh, which is for reflected cross site scripting like cookies if application reflects cookies data back to the user without proper encoding or validate validation attacker can inject malicious script into cookies to execute 
to exploit XSS vulnerability and the other vulnerable point can be er error messages error messages that echoes back user input without proper sanitization can also be exploited if an error message displays the user input without filtering out the script tag it could execute in injection scripts and the impact of reflected cross scripting data theft and manipulation attacker can exploit reflected access vulnerability to steal sensitive user information such as session token cookies or personal data entered on entered on compromised web forms session hijacking by stealing session cookies or tokens attacker can gain unauthorized access to a user session malware distribution attacker might inject malicious scripts that redirect users to website hosting ma malware or initiate automatic download of ma uh, ma malicious software on the user's device and reputation for businesses or organization at an xss attack can damage reputation and erode trust among users and clients and the ways to mitigate reflected excesses are input validation thoroughly validate and sanitize all user input received by the application this includes data entered in forms url parameters cookies and any other user supplied content validate inputs to ensure the other to expected format and sanitize them to strip out or encode potential dangerous characters and scripts output encoding encode user generated content before displaying it to the users use proper output encoding techniques such as html encoding javascript escaping or using a framework and library with which build with built in encoding functions content security policy implement a robust content security policy to define which resources the browser should trust and <clears throat> execute content security policy helps in specifying trust source for scripts style, style sheets and other resources thereby reducing the risk of excesses by limiting where script can originate from a web application firewall consider using a waf that can detect and prevent excesses attacks by filtering and monitoring web <coughs> filtering and monitoring web traffic blocking known attack attack patterns and providing additional security Uh, control and there are some other mitigation that can be used for preventing reflected cross scripting or educating developers and users <clears throat> like providing training and guidance to developers about secure coding practice to prevent excess vulnerability similarly educate users about potential risk associated with clicking on subs suspicious links or interacting with untrusted contents <clears throat> and http only cookies utilize the http only attribute for cookies this prevents the client side script from accessing sensitive cookie data reducing the risk of session stealing session information through xss attacks and tools for detecting uh, reflected cross scripting is xss strike is a cross scripting detection so e equipped with four hand written parsers an intelligent payload generator a powerful fuzzing engine and an incredibly fast crawling and a, and it can be used for detecting excesses reflected excesses and there is another tool which is called dalfox it is a powerful open source tool that focuses on automation making it ideal for quickly scanning for excesses flaws and analyzing parameters its advanced testing engines and niche features are designed to streamline the process of detecting and verifying the vulnerability and some real world examples of uh, reflected cross scripting are cv2023244888 is a cross scripting vulnerability that affects citrix adc and citrix gateway this vulnerability allows an attacker to inject malicious code into a citrix adc or citrix gateway web application which can then be executed by victim when they visit the affected affected a uh, page potentially showing or uh, allowing the attacker to steal sensitive information take control of user account or plant uh, malware on the user device this vulnerability is caused by the fact that the url query parameter are not adequately sanitized before they placed into a http location header this means the attacker can craft a malicious url that 
when clicked will redirect the victim to a arbitrary website the attacker can also inject new line characters into the location header which will prematurely end the http headers and allowing them to inject an excess payload into the response body and and this CV has affected many customers of Citrix Gateway and Citrix ADC. And the another example for reflector CV 2023 is a WordPress reflector cross scripting vulnerability that affects advanced custom fields and advanced custom field pro plugins up to version 6.0.8. This vulnerability is caused by the fact that plugin do not properly sanitize user supply data before it is displayed on the website. This means that an attacker can embed malicious JavaScript code in a comment or field va value which will be executed when the page is loaded. This vulnerability affects, um, affects advanced custom fields and advanced custom field pro version 6.01 through 6.1.5 and the Word WordPress customers who are using this uh, advanced custom uh, field and advanced custom field pro in their not the, not in their latest version might still be vulnerable to reflect a cross scripting and and these are the references you can use to know more about the reflected cross scripting and thank you to learn about reflected cross scripting practically, I will use a vulnerable website which is testphp.vulnerweb.com. When you are looking for reflected cross scripting, the first thing is to look for the injection point. In this case, there is a search input field where I will type hello to to check whether my input is reflecting back to me or not. In this case, it is reflecting back to me. And the another thing to know when you are uh, testing for reflected cross scripting is to know where my reflected uh, value is to know that you can use view page source where you can right click and click on view page source and then search for your input value where in this case hello 12 is reflected back in the h2 tag in this case you don't need to escape out of any tag you can just use the basic uh, xss tag to execute javascript successfully and to check that you can go again to view page source where the uh, javascript is executed successfully but this is not the case for every xss there may be a case where the reflected value is in the tags uh, attribute value where you need to escape out of the tag to execute the uh, javascript properly To check that you can use this website where it has different context for uh, reflected XSS. Uh, this is brutelogic.com uh, and you can use this website to learn more about reflected cross scripting and their context. I will use in this case I will use single code delimiter for this practical demonstration. As early I will just type hello to check whether my input is reflecting back to me or not and I will submit and two of my input is reflected back to me to know where my inputs are i will just go to view page source and uh, search for the string and two of my inputs are reflected back to me but one is in single quotes and another one is in double quotes in in this case the basic script tag won't be working to check that you can go to go again to view page source you can search for string and look you the basic script tag is taken as a string so this won't work here to work to make this work you need to escape out of the uh, in uh, attribute value and then escape out of input tag to make this work but in this case there the closing tag is html encoder so in this case you cannot escape out of input tag but there are ways to execute javascript within the input tag where we need to exit out of the input uh, attribute value and use event handler that is supported by input tag to execute javascript javascript in this case i will use on focus event handler which is supported by input tag input input tag but uh, on focus event handler requires an user interaction it won't pop uh, it won't execute javascript automatically the user need to click 
need to click the input field to execute javascript in this case that you we can use uh, autofocus which is used alongside with on focus to execute uh, uh, javascript automatically in the autofocus is also an event handler that is supported by input tag i will use autofocus focus and, the, and then there is a double quotes which is left behind to make uh, the syntax correctly i will use an another uh, double quotes to make the syntax correctly and, and enter and and my xss pops up